All right, now here I'm going to talk about something a little bit more closer to the other side of my world, which is Wall Street. XRP, we hold it, but the company Ripple is planning on going IPO. You've seen the message, the position they're hiring. Okay, whatever. They're looking to go IPO and become public. When they become public, issue shares, yada, yada, yada. But let me explain something. A lot of people like, well, that's going to be bad for us. And honestly, I believe it's going to be the opposite. There are a lot of banks and a lot of governments and regulators. They want full transparency on who they're using for the liquidity. And when a company goes public, you have to understand they do something that they don't do now because they're private. They got to disclose everything publicly to the government. And that's when they become a trusted company. When it's a private company, a lot of things are questionable. Their finances, you know, sources of money, uh, things like that. But when they go public, everything has to be out there. So don't be shocked if that is what a lot of uh, governments and regulators and major banks have been waiting for. Like part of the deal, like, yeah, we want to do business with you, but you got you to gotta go public. Understand they need that transparency. Remember, XRP was made for the banking and central bank world. That's a totally different thing than just, I like this coin, yay. It's not that. It was specifically designed for that world. And they're getting their creds. There is the creds. I mean, the fact that, you know, CEO of, uh, of Ripple is face-to-face -face with some of the top leaders in the banking cabal. That's how it goes down. So what does that mean also for the coin? It becomes mainstream. You understand what I'm saying? It becomes mainstream. That's how Bitcoin blew up. When Ripple becomes mainstream and starts to report earnings and partnerships and, 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 and new markets, when that starts happening, people start seeing it. And at the end of the day, that's what's going to bump up that. Listen, that, that could take the coin of 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks for all we know. Just on the fact that people go, oh, that's the coin for them. Think about it. We're going to have an actual company that's going to be publicly traded, that has partnerships around the world with major banks and governments, and they just happen to have a coin outside of their stock. Sweet baby Jesus.